sometimes I think it's the craziest thing I've ever done. Sometimes the best thing, and then today I think it's the best thing I've ever done. Some of them you put in uniform and some you don't. That's right? right, yeah, that's right, yeah. I mean, some are worthy. Oh, really? <laughs> it does drive you mad some days, but there's some fantastic volunteers and there's some fantastic companies. I mean, like BGL, you know, they sent along nine people today to help us. Incredible to get the place ready. Mm. But it was Ken Ince mm. that put us in for the Queen's Award for voluntary service. Yeah, very good. And, and you got everything, it? Is, yes, we got it. We won. We won. This is Bob Clark who looks after our everything yeah. to do with railways. He keeps them going. What's this one? That looks like Southern Railway. Yeah, the 92 Squadron. Yes. Yeah. Restored from Barry's scrapyard condition. I've been laying awake at night. Not knowing, thinking, oh, this is happening, this happening. I was worried about the weather because we had 90 lovely children coming from Neen Valley School over at Sugar Way, and I was so worried about where they're going to make it because they were going for a ride on the train. Neen Valley had kindly put the train on with four headlights on it because it was a royal train. Uh, everything came together in the end, and Reverend Richard Payton. He started it all, and look at this weather he's brought us, you know, absolutely, absolutely incredible. So a little bridge that the, the railway used to go over there is now been saved and across the other side. The Barnwell Railway Station. That's it, that's it, yes. Fascinated with everything, really, and meeting the youngsters, doing their civil engineering training and everything, seeing them in the classroom environment and seeing them in the, uh, doing the practical on the track across the other side and then they'll go out onto the Neen Valley Railway and help the volunteers on the Neen Valley Railway keep the railway keep the railway track right for the trains to run. The coal yard was just across the other side. This used to be a locomotive that, depot. The other side. He was asking about everything. We were talking about the Neen Park and how important that was. And, and the railway and the locomotive. The kids absolutely love it. They press the button and it all works automatically. Bob Clark, our railway man, has just done all this. So this is the wildlife haven. Um, Perkins, that came first. Yes, Perkins marketing people designed our logo. One of our volunteers carved it into the wood. Everything in here we've planted. There was a youngster came in in the summer and he, he shouted out to his mum, Oh, mum, it's like Jurassic Park in here. Really? Yeah, because it was all like a green curve. He, he seemed very interested in the place. Well, it's interactive, asking everyone questions. So um, he asked how long I'd been volunteering, and and how long have you been volunteering? I've been volunteering two years. It's just good to get out and about, just do whatever really. If the fence need fixing, I'll fix it. Um, yeah, it's just good to get off the Xbox for a bit. <laughs> Did I see you had a beekeeper? Yes, we've got a beekeeper as well. Oh, <laughs> No, I let, I let them sort that out. But like BGL, send a group along every two weeks. Sometimes we have 30 here. So uh, it was all made by volunteers and youngsters on the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which was yeah, right. was fun, it, really. Talking about the population, this is a population counter. Yeah. Right? This is the population of the world. He enjoyed the model railway as well. I mean, we look upon the model railway to attract the youngsters and then they find nature. That is the most important thing, to find nature and appreciate what an amazing world we all live in. Together in Carlisle. Well, royalty three times, isn't it? Because uh, we got invited when we won the Queen's Award. Got invited to Buckingham Palace and uh, then I got the MBE from Prince William. And actually, forgetting about it, when I first started, I met Princess Di. So, absolutely incredible. Now the Duke of Gloucester today. Fantastic. I've been a very lucky man.